Although it's been updated yet again, the Nissan GTR is basically still the same R35 generation coupe that began hitting dealer lots 15 years ago and quickly earned the nickname Godzilla. This year it sees the return of the mid-tier T-Spec model, which slots between the premium and full-blown Nismo versions. The twin-turbocharged 3.8-liter V6 engine still makes 600 horsepower under the hood of Nismo units, while premium and T-Spec models see a tamer yet still potent 565 ponies. The usual performance bits are still present, too, including E-adjustable Bilstein dampers and Brembo brakes with carbon ceramic setups for the performance-focused variants. The same dual-clutch automatic transmission and grippy all-wheel drive system are present, and they work together to provide the blistering acceleration that the GTR has come to be known for. We're not sure how much longer this generation of the iconic nameplate will remain in production, and those who decide to buy a new one will surely appreciate the still monstrous capability of Godzilla. The reintroduced T-Spec model also brings back the iconic Midnight Purple and Millennium Jade Heritage colors. Somehow Nissan charges six figures for a car that cost less than that when it debuted a decade ago and hasn't changed much since. Still, those seeking permanent seat time in the mightiest car to carry the GTR badge probably aren't too worried about price. While the ultimate version is the Nismo, it's nearly twice as much as the premium model and costs more than the exotic McLaren 570 and Porsche 911 Turbo S. In light of this, We'd suggest the less expensive GTR T-Spec, which pushes the performance envelope but keeps the price point well below exotic rivals. The 2023 GTR S standard twin-turbo 3.8-liter V6 makes a mighty 565 horsepower and 467 pound-feet of torque. It hooks up to a six-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive that conspire to put all that power to the pavement. At our test track, the GTR launched itself from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mere 2.9 seconds. The GTR S quick steering, rigid structure, and adjustable suspension can make even amateurs feel positively heroic from behind the wheel. Want more? Check out the Track Edition and Nismo models with a tuned-up engine that makes 600 horsepower and 481 pound-feet of torque. Insider tip, sources tell us that the Nismo actually makes considerably more than 600 horsepower, but Nissan didn't want to rate it higher, possibly for reasons having to do with its homologation for the Japanese market. As in past years, the ride is firm but not punishing and, thanks to active sound cancellation, the thrum of the GTRS engine doesn't punish your eardrums when cruising on the highway. Every 2023 GTR is fitted with an 8-inch touchscreen that can also be controlled with a rotary knob on the center console. While Apple Car CarPlay capability, built-in navigation, and a Bose 11-speaker audio system are standard, Android Auto is not an option. Its infotainment system is easy enough to use even if its graphics and menus are not the most attractive. There's also a customizable data display with readouts of various metrics, such as coolant and oil temperatures, G-forces, boost pressure, and more engine parameters. The EPA estimates that every GTR will earn 16 mpg in the city and 22 mpg on the highway. However, we don't know its real-world MPG since we haven't tested one on our 75 mph highway fuel economy route. For more information about the GTR's fuel economy,